the theatre was packed, which at nine pounds a head in the 400-seat house was good news. It's also Nick's home theatre. He works there as a part-time projectionist. I've been a great admirer of Mr. Heston's for a long time. Uh, I followed his film career with great interest. Um, I'm now a theatre uh, student at the Bristol Albert Theatre School. It occurred to me while he was in the country uh, that I would contact Mr. Heston with uh, this idea in mind. Rather than asking for sponsorship, um, I asked if he'd give me an hour of his time. It's all gone from there. The 76-year-old actor's in Britain with his wife Lydia to perform in a play, Love Letters. They're in Malvern at the Festival Theatre for tonight until the end of the week. But acting, let alone the movies, is notoriously hard to succeed in, no matter how much training. Would you, after your years in the business, would you say to Nick, do it or don't do it? And it's a tough business to get on in, isn't it? It is a very hard business to crack, no question. Um, Spencer Tracy gave the best advice I've ever heard of to actors. Show up on time, know your words, and don't bump into anything. Does that help true for you? <laughs> I do my best. <laughs> He's made a success of it, as the audience willingly testified. What are your favourite films? El Cid, Ben-Hur, Planet of the Apes. My favourite? Um, greatest Show on Earth. Uh -huh. I think that's a brilliant film. He, he's a very, very good actor. All those epics that he's done are wonderful. Mm. As for Nick, well, after asking questions about the theatre, Shakespeare and films, he bowed out of the limelight, albeit temporarily. The man himself left for his hotel. He'd seen it all before. What an opportunity. So now, if you had an hour of somebody's time, who would mm. you pick? Well, I wouldn't mind meeting him, actually. would be quite good. But I think yeah. Julie Walters. Probably. She'd be funny, wouldn't she? Or Thora Heard. Great oh, yeah, too. she'd be good. She'd yeah. be great. Might you'd oh. need more than an hour to talk to them, probably. Yeah, <laughs> oh, well, give us something to think about. Anyway. Now, it may seem hard to believe, but it's only the second week of the school holidays. And if you're running short of ideas about what to do with the children, how about a cheap day in the country? In this week's Away for the Day, Ken Goodwin takes advantage of the good weather and visits the New Forest. Uh -huh. 